Guys, we are back in free code camp in basic algorithm scripting bonfire of slasher flick. So this one, I stumbled upon it. I redid this several times and this is a great example of just learning what the documentation has to offer. So we've used slice before and if you don't remember what slice does, slice takes an array and will slice a portion of that array from a certain index, let's say zero to two, and just take that and you know you do whatever you need it for. But splice is slightly different. Splice actually will change the array. So typically what I like to do is I like to create a holder array. And I just set it empty to, to a, uh, a simple array. So to an empty array. Um, what we can do here is normally we'd like iterate through a for loop and I would change this array and all this sort of craziness. So instead what we're going to do is just take advantage of something that they told us right here, which is splice. So after doing the documentation, splice will just simply delete from a certain point and you say, how many do you want to delete? We want to delete two index variables from the head. And that's what this goal is. We want to delete from the head and it's as simple as taking our current array calling the dot splice and saying it takes in two parameters the start param like the start index which we're going to just say zero start start from the beginning it's that simple and if you if you um how many do you want to delete and in this case how many parameter and this is all we had to do to complete this lab so one line of code more or less but why does it work so Let's go ahead and put our one comment in here. So we takes an array, take an array, call splice. Uh, zero is starting index, index point, and how many is the number to chop. So in this case, if we were to add a four, onto here when our input is going to be three four because we're just going to delete these first two and then there's the three four so um, a great example of how documentation and going over uh, you know these these helpful links i spent about 15 20 minutes going over them before i even get started when i when i don't know the answer instantaneously so i hope you enjoyed this brief but very quick and important lesson about using the documentation that the um, language provides to learn how to make code better in your favor and there's numerous ways you could have done this you could have done a much more complicated where we pushed into a new array and then we iterated through it and all this sort of stuff but don't make it harder on yourself this is the most efficient way to do it and also it's the simplest way as long as you know the documentation so i'll see you guys in the next video for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe that helps me out a ton and i appreciate all the comments that i get and all the questions i get in the comments and i'm happy to answer them so keep them coming and i'll see you in the next video